Greetings, future explorers. I am Albert Einstein, delighted to usher you into a realm of inquiry and imagination with the Wonderment Channel. Today, we shall voyage through the mysteries of time travel, a concept that dances on the edge of scientific theory and fantastical dreams. Is it an unattainable fantasy or a future reality concealed within the cosmos? Join us as we navigate through the cosmic ballet of space-time and light, seeking answers that dwell in the vastness of our universe. In our journey's latter half, we'll tread upon the sands of hypothetical histories. Imagine a tapestry where the threads of crucial historical events are rewoven, crafting a divergent reality. Embark on this exhilarating journey with me and the brilliant minds at the Wonderment Channel, exploring the cascading possibilities of time and alternate histories. May our explorations ignite your curiosity and wonder. The Wonderment Channel, unleashing the power of curiosity. Oh, and by the way, I just may have time traveled to be here with you. Ever wondered if you could hop into a machine, press a button and journey to a different era? Imagine, for a moment, that you have the power to traverse the vast landscape of time at your leisure. This is the captivating concept of time travel, a subject that has ignited the imaginations of countless individuals across the globe and a staple in the realm of science fiction. Time travel, the idea of moving between different points in time in a manner analogous to moving between different points in space, has long been a popular topic in literature, movies and television. It has sparked endless debates, inspired iconic narratives, and kindled our collective curiosity. From H.G. Wells' The Time Machine to the time-twisting antics of Doctor Who, the concept of time travel has been explored and reimagined in countless ways. But time travel is more than just a fascinating plot device. It's an intricate web of scientific and philosophical theories, each with its own unique take on the possibility of voyaging through time. Theories that challenge our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Some propose the idea of wormholes, shortcuts through the fabric of space-time, while others explore the mind-bending implications of Einstein's theory of relativity. And then there are the paradoxes, the logical conundrums that arise when we contemplate the ability to alter past events. Over the course of this video, we'll delve into these theories, examining the science behind them and the philosophical questions they raise. We'll journey from the ancient ideas of time travel through to the cutting-edge theories of today. We'll explore the potential for paradoxes, the role of black holes and wormholes, and the startling implications of quantum mechanics. Whether time travel is indeed possible or merely a fascinating flight of fancy, there's no denying its allure. It's a testament to our innate desire to explore, to understand, to push beyond the boundaries of our current knowledge. So buckle up as we embark on a journey, not just through time, but through the very essence of what it means to be a time traveler. Join us on this journey through time as we explore the theories and possibilities of time travel. The concept of time travel isn't as new as you might think. It's a thought that has intrigued mankind for millennia, with roots extending back to our earliest civilizations. Let's take a journey back to ancient times. Picture yourself amidst the grandeur of the Egyptian pyramids. The Egyptians believed in a cyclical nature of time, with periods of creation, growth, decay and renewal. They often depicted time as a loop, a never-ending cycle, but they also believed that the pharaohs upon their death could travel to the afterlife, transcending the boundaries of time. Next, let's traverse to the heart of ancient India. The Hindu scriptures, the Puranas, speak of time dilation. They depict stories where time passes differently in different realms a concept remarkably similar to the modern theory of relativity. Now imagine yourself listening to the epic tales of the ancient Greeks. They envisioned Kronos, the personification of time, who could travel at will into the past or future. Similarly, the Celtic legends speak of heroes venturing into the other world, only to return to their homeland decades later while mere moments had passed for them. Over in the Far East, ancient Chinese stories tell of magical powers and potions that could allow one to sleep for years, waking up in the future. In Japan, the fairy tale of Urashima Taro portrays a young fisherman's journey to an underwater palace where he spends what feels like a few days, but returns to find centuries have passed in his home village. These ancient societies, with their mythologies and beliefs, were the first to conceptualize time not as a constant, 
but as a flexible entity. They may not have had the scientific understanding we possess today, but their imaginations dared to dream of traversing the unfathomable depths of time. While these ancient ideas might seem far-fetched today, they paved the way for more scientific theories of time travel. They remind us that the human fascination with time travel is not a product of modern science fiction, but a timeless curiosity embedded deep within our collective consciousness. Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius, also had some thoughts about time travel. Yes, the man who gave us E equals mc squared also gave us a groundbreaking concept that has implications for time travel. The theory of relativity. Now, the theory of relativity is a bit of a two-parter. There's the special theory of relativity, which tells us that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, and that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same, no matter the speed at which the observer travels. But then Einstein went a step further and presented the general theory of relativity. This is where things get interesting for our time travel discussion. The general theory of relativity is all about gravity. Einstein proposed that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, which is felt as gravity. So what is space-time? Well, think of it like a fabric that extends in all directions. It's a four-dimensional concept that combines the three dimensions of space with the one dimension of time. According to Einstein's theory, when a massive object like a planet or a star is placed in this fabric, it causes a dent, distorting the space-time around it. Now, if you're wondering how this relates to time travel, well, here's the catch. If gravity can bend space-time, then it means that time itself can be bent, stretched, and maybe even looped back onto itself, potentially opening up a path to the past or the future. However, as exciting as this idea is, it's also mind-bogglingly complex. Einstein's theories, while groundbreaking, are not without their challenges. They suggest that the fabric of space-time could be manipulated to create shortcuts or wormholes, but these are purely theoretical at this stage. Einstein's theories opened up a whole new world of possibilities for time travel, but they also raised more questions. For now, the idea of hopping in a time machine and heading back to the past, or jumping forward to the future, remains in the realm of science fiction. But who knows what the future or the past holds? black holes, the universe's ultimate mystery, but could they be a gateway to other times? Imagine the universe as a sheet of rubber. When a massive object like a star is placed on it, the sheet bends, creating a well. This is a simplified way to think about gravity. Now, if that star collapses under its own weight, it punches a hole through the sheet, creating a black hole. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Their intense gravitational pull warps the fabric of space and time, a phenomenon known as space-time curvature. This curvature, some scientists speculate, could provide a bridge or a shortcut to another point in space or time. Now, let's talk about wormholes, a theoretical cousin of black holes. Wormholes are bridges through space-time, connecting two separate points in the universe. They could, in theory, allow for instantaneous travel between these points regardless of the distance. Even more intriguing is the idea that wormholes could connect not just different points in space, but also different moments in time. However, before we get too excited about the prospect of time travel via black holes or wormholes, we need to consider the challenges. For one, the intense gravitational forces within a black hole would stretch and squeeze anything that ventures too close, a process that scientists whimsically call spaghettification. Not an ideal way to travel, to say the least. Wormholes, on the other hand, are purely theoretical. Even if they do exist, they are believed to be extremely unstable and likely to collapse in fractions of a second. To keep a wormhole open long enough for travel, we would need a form of negative energy or exotic matter, something that currently only exists in the realm of theory. While the idea of using black holes for time travel is fascinating, it's also incredibly dangerous and currently beyond our technical capabilities. Quantum mechanics might seem like a strange place to look for time travel, but it might just hold the answers we're looking for. Delve into the depths of the quantum realm, and you'll find a fascinating concept known as the many worlds interpretation. This interpretation suggests that there isn't just one universe, our universe. Instead, there's an unimaginably vast multiverse where countless parallel universes exist simultaneously. 
Each time a quantum event occurs, the universe splits into different versions, each one playing out a different potential outcome. It's as if every decision you've ever made, every chance you've ever taken, every path you've ever chosen, has created a new parallel universe where an alternate version of you exists. Imagine for a moment that you could somehow access these parallel universes. You could visit a universe where you chose a different career, or where historical events played out differently. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? This is where time travel comes into play. Now, the many worlds interpretation doesn't allow for time travel in the traditional sense. You can't go back in time and change your past in this universe, but it does open up the possibility of visiting a universe where the past went differently. In essence, it's like stepping into a different timeline. But this concept raises some thorny questions. For instance, if you visit a parallel universe, are you really you or are you an interloper, a stranger in a world that's not truly yours? And if every decision creates a new universe, does that mean we have free will? Or are we simply playing out all possible outcomes in a cosmic game of chance? The Many Worlds interpretation opens up a whole new set of possibilities for time travel, but it also raises some philosophical questions. As we continue to explore the mysteries of time travel, we'll have to grapple with these complex issues. After all, the journey through time is not just about the destination, but also about understanding our place in the cosmos. Scene script. Time travel isn't all fun and games. There are some serious paradoxes to consider. Picture this. You've just hopped into your handy time machine, zipped back a few decades, and accidentally bumped into your grandfather. Sounds harmless, right? Not so fast. This is the crux of the infamous grandfather paradox. If you were to say inadvertently prevent your grandparents from meeting, you could erase your own existence. But if you never existed, then how could you have traveled back in time in the first place? It's a mind-bending puzzle and one of the biggest challenges to the concept of time travel. Now, let's dive into the bootstrap paradox. Imagine you're a scientist in the future who invents the first time machine. You decide to travel back to the past and give the blueprints of your time machine to your younger self, who then uses them to build the very same time machine. The question is, where did the blueprints come from in the first place? They seem to exist in a closed loop with no discernible origin. This paradox brings into question the very nature of cause and effect, and poses a serious conundrum for any would-be time traveler. These paradoxes aren't just brain teasers, they're fundamental questions about the nature of our universe. If time travel is possible, then these paradoxes must have solutions. Some theorists propose that the universe has a sort of built-in self-correction mechanism preventing these paradoxes from occurring. Others suggest that each act of time travel creates an alternate universe, effectively sidestepping any paradoxical situations. But the truth is, we just don't know. Time travel remains a tantalizing possibility, fraught with enigmas and riddles that we've yet to solve. These paradoxes provide some serious food for thought. If we ever do figure out how to time travel, we'll need to be careful to avoid these paradoxical situations. We've journeyed through a variety of theories, each offering a unique perspective on time travel. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've uncovered. Starting with ancient ideas, we found cultures and civilizations that entertained the concept of time as a cyclical or repeating phenomenon. They envisioned time as a wheel, ever turning, ever returning. It's a poetic notion, and one that still finds echoes in modern thought. Next, we delved into Einstein's theory of relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of time. It proposed that time and space are interconnected, forming a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. According to this theory, time travel might be possible through bending this fabric using immense gravitational forces. This led us to the exploration of black holes and wormholes. These astronomical phenomena could, theoretically, provide shortcuts through space and time. But while they're fascinating, they also come with their own set of problems and dangers, from extreme tidal forces to possible collapse. Then we ventured into the realm of quantum mechanics and the many worlds interpretation. This theory suggests that for every decision or random event, the universe splits into multiple versions, each exploring a different outcome. If true, this could mean an infinite number of parallel universes where every possibility exists. Lastly, we discussed some of the paradoxes that time travel might entail, such as the grandfather paradox and the bootstrap paradox. 
These thought experiments highlight the logical problems and contradictions that could arise if time travel to the past were possible. In the end, time travel is still largely theoretical, but the theories we've explored today give us a glimpse into the fascinating possibilities and complexities it presents. Ongoing research continues to probe the boundaries of our understanding, seeking to unravel the mysteries of time. Time travel remains a fascinating concept, tantalizing us with its possibilities and perplexing us with its paradoxes. Whether we'll ever be able to journey through time remains to be seen, but the journey to understand it is a thrilling adventure in itself. Imagine possessing the power to leap through time. What events would you change? What could be the consequences? Ah, time travel. It's a concept that has captivated the minds of scientists, philosophers and dreamers alike. The ability to journey back to the past or propel ourselves into the future is a tantalizing prospect. But it's not without its complications. You see, the concept of time travel invariably introduces a host of paradoxes. For instance, there's the age-old grandfather paradox. If you were to travel back in time and accidentally cause your grandfather's death before your parent was conceived, would you cease to exist? But if you cease to exist, how could you have traveled back in time in the first place? Then there's the butterfly effect, a theory popularized by science fiction, but rooted in the real scientific field of chaos theory. It suggests that a tiny, seemingly insignificant event, like a butterfly flapping its wings, can result in colossal changes down the line. So, if we were to change even the smallest detail in the past, the present as we know it could be drastically different. Imagine, for instance, if you went back in time and accidentally stepped on a bug. That bug might have been the food for a small bird which now starves. The bird's death could then impact the larger predators that relied on it for food, and so on. The ripple effect could eventually lead to massive ecological changes, altering the course of history in unpredictable and potentially catastrophic ways. So, as appealing as time travel may sound, it's not without its risks. The paradox of time travel is that, while it offers the prospect of changing the past to improve the future, the consequences of such changes are impossible to predict and could lead to an entirely different present than the one we know and live in. Now let's dive into some hypothetical scenarios where one might tamper with the past and the potential effects it could have. Scene script. Picture a world where the two great wars never happened. How would this affect our present? It's a tantalizing thought that sends shivers down our spines. Imagine just for a moment the enormity of such a change, and let's delve into the cascade of effects that might spring from it. Firstly, our technological landscape would be dramatically different. Wars, as brutal and devastating as they are, have been catalysts for technological innovation. The First World War spurred advancements in aviation, radio communications and medical technologies. The Second World War gave us radar, jet engines and even the precursors to our modern computers. Without these wars, these technologies may have taken decades longer to develop, if at all. Next, our demographic makeup would be radically altered. The two great wars claimed countless lives and displaced millions of people. Without these wars, the world's population could be significantly larger, and entire generations would not bear the scars of war. We might see a more diverse world, with cultures and communities that were wiped out or diluted by war still flourishing. The political landscape, too, would be unrecognizably different. The aftermath of the First World War led to the rise of totalitarian regimes and set the stage for the Second World War. The end of the Second World War saw the emergence of the Cold War, the division of the world into the Eastern and Western blocs, and the start of the nuclear age. Without these wars, the balance of power among nations might be drastically different, and the geopolitical chessboard might look very unfamiliar. Yet we must also consider the potential downside. Without the lessons learned from these wars, we might be a more fractious and conflict-prone species. The horrors of these wars have taught us the value of peace and cooperation, and without them, we might be more likely to resort to violence to solve our disputes. Without these wars, we might live in a dramatically different world, perhaps more peaceful or perhaps more volatile. It's a thought-provoking notion, isn't it? 
As we continue our journey through these hypotheticals, let's remember that even the darkest chapters of our history have shaped us in ways we might not fully comprehend. What if the wheel or electricity were discovered centuries earlier? How would our world look today? Imagine a timeline where the technological milestones we celebrate were reached not in the past few centuries, but thousands of years ago. The discovery of fire, the invention of the wheel, the harnessing of electricity, all taking place in the distant past. In this alternate world, the Industrial Revolution would be ancient history. Steam engines and factories would be as common in the Middle Ages as castles and knights. The Victorian era, instead of being defined by the advent of railroads and telegraphy, could have been the age of computers and the Internet. What would this mean for our economy? With technology accelerating at a pace far beyond our own timeline, economic growth would be exponential. The concept of wealth and the distribution of resources could be radically different. Perhaps in this world, the gap between the rich and the poor is not as wide with technology providing solutions to problems of scarcity and inequality. Our environment might have benefited too. With advanced technology comes the potential for sustainable solutions. Imagine a world where renewable energy sources were discovered and optimized centuries ago. Our reliance on fossil fuels may have been a short-lived phase in this world's history, replaced by clean, renewable energy long before the onset of the climate crisis we face today. And our lifestyle? Well, it's hard to even fathom. The conveniences we enjoy today, from smartphones to electric cars, might be primitive in comparison. We could be living in a world of flying cars, teleportation, and perhaps even time travel. But it's not all rosy. With great power comes great responsibility. Advanced technology could also mean advanced weaponry, surveillance and potential for misuse. The ethical implications are staggering. With technology centuries ahead, we might be living in a world beyond our wildest dreams or our worst nightmares. The possibilities are endless, exciting and a little bit terrifying. But isn't that the beauty of hypotheticals? They make us ponder, question and dream. Imagine a world where pandemics like the Spanish flu or COVID-19 were prevented. What would be different? Picture this. A timeline where our history books are void of chapters dedicated to pandemics that shook the world to its core. Sounds like a utopia, doesn't it? Let's delve into the fascinating world of what-ifs and explore how a pandemic-free timeline might have unfolded. One of the most immediate effects we can consider is the impact on global population. Without pandemics claiming millions of lives, our world could potentially be a lot more crowded. Cities might have grown larger and faster, with population densities skyrocketing. Now let's shift our gaze towards the healthcare sector. The absence of pandemics would undoubtedly affect the evolution of healthcare. With no urgent need to combat widespread diseases, medical advancements could have taken a slower path. On the flip side, the absence of pandemic-induced pressures might have allowed for a more methodical and comprehensive approach to healthcare development. Pandemics not only shape healthcare, but also influence social norms and interactions. The Spanish flu, for instance, popularized the use of masks, a practice that became indispensable during COVID-19. Without such events, we might be living in a world less familiar with social distancing, hand sanitizers and face masks. Our interactions could be more physical, more tactile, and perhaps more genuine. Moreover, the economic implications of pandemic prevention are worth considering. Without the financial strain of healthcare crises, economies might have been more robust, with resources diverted towards other areas like infrastructure, education, or space exploration. However, it's essential to consider that pandemics, despite their devastating effects, often act as catalysts for change, driving innovation and improvements in various sectors. The absence of these catalysts might have resulted in a world that is less adaptive and less prepared for other types of crises. Without these pandemics, we might be living in a more crowded, yet less cautious world. A world where our sense of community might be stronger, but our resilience might be weaker. A world that, for all its differences, would still be uniquely ours. What if Mozart never composed, or Picasso never painted? How would this affect our culture? This is an interesting question, isn't it? 
Let's dive in and explore the potential ramifications. Artistic contributions, whether they be music, painting, literature or any other form, are integral to the fabric of our society. They influence the way we think, feel and perceive the world around us. Now imagine a world where some of these contributions were never made. Firstly, consider the impact on entertainment. Artistic masterpieces like Mozart's symphonies or Picasso's paintings are not just sources of enjoyment for us. They set standards, influence trends and inspire future artists. If Mozart had never composed his music, would the symphony as we know it even exist? Or if Picasso had never picked up a paintbrush, would Cubism have come into being? The absence of these contributions could have left a void in our entertainment landscape, potentially making it less diverse and less evolved. Next, consider the impact on education. Artistic works are often used as teaching tools, helping us to understand different periods of history, cultural movements and human emotions. They act as windows into the past, showing us how people lived, thought and felt. Without works like Mozart's or Picasso's, our understanding of their respective eras could be less comprehensive, less nuanced. Finally, consider the impact on cultural understanding. Art transcends borders and barriers, fostering a sense of shared human experience. It helps us to understand and appreciate cultures different from our own. Without the contributions of artists like Mozart and Picasso, our ability to empathize and connect with different cultures could be diminished. In conclusion, altering artistic contributions could have far-reaching effects on our society. The music we listen to, the art we admire, the books we read, all could be fundamentally different. Without these artistic geniuses, we might be living in a less colourful and less melodious world. Imagine if JFK was never assassinated, or if the Cold War never ended. How would this shape our present? Ponder this for a moment. The world as we know it could be dramatically different if key political events had taken another turn. Let's delve into this sixth realm of hypotheticals, where we revise political outcomes and their potential effects on our world. Picture a world where John F. Kennedy survived that fateful day in Dallas. His charisma and popularity might have led to a second term, possibly affecting the trajectory of the Vietnam War or even racial equality movements. The ripple effects of this singular event could have shaped our societal values and international relations in ways we can only speculate about. Now let's shift our gaze to the Cold War. What if it never ended? Imagine a world still locked in the icy grip of political tension between superpowers. Perhaps space exploration would have continued at a feverish pace, driven by the competition between nations. Or maybe the arms race would have escalated, leading to a world teetering on the brink of destruction, forever dancing on the razor's edge of a nuclear standoff. But it's not just about wars and conflicts. Consider the influence of political outcomes on policies and societal values. What if women's suffrage never happened, or if the civil rights movement was unsuccessful? Our societal values would be starkly different and the impact on individual freedoms and equality would be profound. And it's not just about the past, what about the future? What if different leaders were to come to power, ones with radically different ideologies? Our world could see shifts in economic policies, environmental protection, even human rights. These hypotheticals make us realize the immense impact of political outcomes. They shape our world, our society and our daily lives in ways that are often overlooked. With different political outcomes, we might be living under different ideologies in a world of different alliances and conflicts. So, as we continue to ponder these hypotheticals, let's remember the power of political choices and the future they help shape. The power to alter history is a tempting one, but the consequences could be far-reaching and unpredictable. Let's take a moment to ponder on the hypothetical scenarios we've journeyed through. The eradication of major wars, the acceleration of technological advancements, the prevention of pandemics, the alteration of artistic contributions, and the revision of political outcomes. Each a tempting proposition, each with a ripple effect that could reshape the world as we know it. Imagine a world without the scars of war, a world where humanity never witnessed the horrors of the world wars, the Vietnam War, or the countless other conflicts that have marred our history. Would we be a more peaceful species? 
or would we still find reasons to quarrel? And what of technology? Imagine if the Renaissance had been accompanied by the rise of the computer, or if the Industrial Revolution had been powered by nuclear energy. Would we be living in a utopian society of advanced technology, or would we have exhausted our planet's resources even faster? Think of the pandemics that have swept across the globe, from the Black Death to the recent COVID-19. If we could prevent these, millions of lives could be saved. But would we also lose the medical advancements that came as a direct response to these crises? Art, in all its forms, is a reflection of the era it was born in. Changing history might mean losing some of the most profound artistic contributions. Would we trade Van Gogh's Starry Night for a world where he lived a long and happy life? And what about politics? Would altering the outcome of key political events lead to a more equitable world? Or would it simply replace one set of power dynamics with another? These what-if scenarios are tantalizing, but they also bring into focus the moral and ethical implications of time travel. By changing the past, we're essentially playing God, deciding who lives and who dies, which civilizations rise and which fall. Even with the best intentions, the potential for misuse is immense. The power to alter history could easily become a tool of oppression, altering the course of human evolution to suit a particular agenda. And what of the people who lived through these events, their struggles, their triumphs, their stories? Would they simply be wiped away, replaced by a new narrative? Is it fair to rob them of their place in history? In the grand scheme of things, every event, every decision, every individual has played a part in shaping the world as we know it. To change one element is to change everything. It's a cascade of cause and effect, a complex web of interconnections. In the end, perhaps it's best that the past remains as it is, a testament to our journey as a civilization, full of lessons to learn and mistakes to avoid.